Dreamers, my name is Amber. I hope you're enjoying a fabulous day today. I recently picked up some new lip products from Sephora and MAC, so I wanted to show you what I got in case you're in the market for some new products or you're just looking for some colors and things to get you inspired um, to rock some different looks from your makeup collection. So I'm gonna go on and start with the MAC and then we'll go into what I picked up from Sephora. So. The first thing was I was really attracted to the MAC Retro MAC collections. Um, I ha love, love my tube of Russian red lipstick, so I wanted to pick up some additional colors. I picked up three of the Retro Matte shades, the first one being um, the color No Faux Pas, and this is in the shimmery packaging that I guess MAC is either doing for holiday or this is going to be more of a permanent thing. I have no idea. but. This color I immediately wanted for springtime. So it's a beautiful, bright flamingo pink, absolutely stunning on the lips. And I love the fact that this formula is super creamy and very long wearing. The only thing that is just not, it's kind of turning me off to the whole MAC idea is these smell and taste a little bit different than MAC lipsticks. I never was a fan of the way they taste or smell, but these are a little bit a little bit stronger um, than other MAC lipsticks that I own. So here is No Faux Pas, but I thought that would be absolutely beautiful. I will update you with a shop that stash if MAC formula is not your particular brand of lipstick that you like to wear, um, because I really feel like I have a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm Stain that's fairly similar to this, and I think I may have a Revlon lipstick or two, so give me a chance to look through my collection and I will update you with a shop that stash on these shades that I purchased. Um, the next one, I really wanted something that was like a 90s lip, something a little bit more brown that was a matte lipstick, so I picked up the shade Nouvelle Vogue. This comes in the traditional um, black packaging. And I love this because there is more brown than other nude lipsticks that I own. Um, since I don't really wear nude nudes, I thought this would be a fun neutral shade. So here's Nouvelle Vogue, very um, reminiscent of like the whole Kylie Jenner fad that's going on right now um, to rock like more of the 90s lip. I thought this would be really fun. Um, to wear as I pan the Lorac Pro palette um, in January. So there's Nouvelle Vogue. And then, oh, uh, I was super excited about this MAC lipstick. If you want a really fun red for Christmas, but you want to go more of the fire engine red, pick up the shade Damn Glamorous. This, oh, uh, it's not as intense as Russian Red. Um, I really feel like Damn Glamorous is a little bit more appropriate for every day because Russian Red is very, very in your face, very blue. I mean, my teeth are glaring white when I wear it, so I thought this might be a little bit calmer <laughs> of an option to wear um, on a regular basis. Or if you want just a red lipstick for holidays, this is beautiful. So here is Damn Glamorous over here. I love this. And I'm wondering, since Cherish or Pretty Pistol 86 wore Jungle Red from NARS in her video yesterday, I wonder if Damn Glamorous is pretty close to Jungle Red. I don't know. I haven't owned Jungle Red in a very long time, so I don't have it on hand to compare. But this red, <clears throat> absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And then... I wanted to go through Sephora because um, I tried Bite Beauty products. Like I bought the Lipstick Duo last year that had Palomino and Violet. And I really had kind of a weird experience with them because the lipstick didn't hold up. It started melting, you know, when my room was like above 70 degrees. And then when I was doing a Shop That Stash video, it broke on camera. So I kept thinking the whole brand was just a hot mess. Um, but since everybody's been talking about it and saying the lipstick is awesome and I really do appreciate that they use food grade quality ingredients, I decided to try it but go the pencil route this time. So I picked up four pencils and then a little travel size ornament thing. Let's go through that first. The first one that I did was this little travel size ornament in the shade Glossé. This, again, kind of like Nouvelle Vogue, is 
perfect to do an everyday kind of nude lip. Um, it honestly, like this would be perfect for fall. Um, I won't rock this shade specifically right now because I like the bolder red lipsticks for Christmas, but this like for a beautiful nude color, again, I'm thinking this would pair really well with the Lorac Pro palette as I pan it. Um, this is just a beautiful everyday lip, my lips but better kind of thing. So there's Glossé. Then the next one that I picked up, uh, I am in love, in love with the shade. This is the shade Rhubarb. I am a huge fan of the Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the shade Fig. This is very similar to that, but more brown. It's actually kind of similar to Glossé too, but I like the creaminess of this pencil and that I can line my lips with it. So here's Rhubarb, beautiful, beautiful for every day. I thought this would be really, really pretty with the Lorac Pro palette. And again, if you want to do the Kylie Jenner trend, you're right on point with a color like this. So, and I honestly can say I don't have something else in my collection besides the Be Legendary lipstick that is as glossy as this pencil um, or, you know, as brown as this shade. So, really glad I picked that up. Then the next one. Oh, I love it. I got an intense red and I wanted the shade pomegranate. I love this because once again, you don't need a liner and look at how intense that color is going to be. It's beautiful. Perfect for Christmas parties. I mean, absolutely stunning. This is right along the lines of my Holy Grail shade of red. Like right now, I found that in the Revlon's um, Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Fifth Avenue Red. This is the Bite Beauty version of it. So I am thrilled because this is not discontinued. So if you want a really, really gorgeous, vibrant lipstick to wear this Christmas, go check out the shade Pomegranate in these Bite Pencils. Absolutely beautiful. And these are very long wearing. They don't feather all over the place. They don't bleed. Very, very impressed. I wish that I would have tried the pencils out from the beginning instead of trying to go the lipstick route because the lipstick does not work for me. Um, and then the next shade that I picked up is the shade Aubergine. <sighs> L, I had to get this, I had to get this. And I will think of you every time I put this on because it's beautiful. And this is different than what I expected too. Um, when I bought this, I really expected it to be very similar to the Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipstick in the shade Venom, but it's much more red. It's what I'm currently wearing on my lips right now. I'm very impressed with the color because as you can see in the two, it's like, it looks very, very purpley berry, but when you translate it onto your lips, it's definitely more red. I mean, as you can see, even comparing it to pomegranate, you can see the red tones in this. So, uh, I am so, so glad that I picked this up. And this kind of started my love affair with the bite pencils because I really wanted to have this shade in my collection. And I am thrilled <laughs> that it's different um, from things that I have because I really was worried it was going to be way too similar. So, definitely worth checking out that shade if you are a bold lipstick wearer. And then the last shade that I picked up was the color Quince. This is a very intense, in-your-face hot pink. I am so excited to bring this out this spring. It kind of reminds me of No Faux Pas, that lipstick I showed you from MAC, but this is much deeper and much bluer in tone. So here is Quince, and I love how creamy this is compared to no faux pas. I mean, as you can see, they're gonna be super, one's really, really bright, one is definitely darker and more intense. So there we go for the um, array of <laughs> lip products I'm gonna be trying out within the next few weeks and months. I am super duper excited, and I really am impressed with the way that Sephora has started stepping up um, as far as their sample bags go. I did make my Bite Beauty pencils in two separate orders, and I got sent this um, lipstick um, makeup bag that has a bunch of samples. I'm not gonna go through everything because there's a lot. So I got this bag, and then I got another drawstring pouch that are full of samples. But what I was impressed by is like one of the samples in particular was 
an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade F Bomb. Holy cow, I love this. Love this. I talked about this in my red lipstick. Um, shop that stash. You need to check out this color if you are a red lipstick wearer. So, but I got tons of perfume samples, um, some skincare samples. The lipstick is just too much that it would make this video obnoxiously long. So, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna have several more get ready with me's using the shade Gunmetal because, who the crunch is on. <laughs> I cannot believe that we are in the home stretch of finishing before December 31st. I mean, this has been one crazy year. Um, so I will have more get ready with me, some more shop that stash, and I do have a couple tag videos that I want to get up, and I've got another pan that palette update. So there's going to be lots coming from me within the next few weeks. So enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.